Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Today, my children, before we start with this new review, because remember, we are going to start to see all the topics that we have seen, that we have been working since day one. Vamos a estar trabajando con todos los temas que hemos visto desde el primer día. Pero, antes de empezar con nuestro repaso, remember, first, stand up, all of you, up, 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 arriba todos, okay? Now, remember the song that we practiced last week? Recuerdan de la canción que practicamos la vez pasada? We're going to practice it, but without music. That means we have to do it as the teacher says. Como lo vamos a hacer sin música, vamos a hacerlo de acuerdo al teacher. Quiere decir que yo voy a ser el que incremente la velocidad. So, for this, you have to pay attention and you have to be ready. Tenemos que estar listos. Very good. So, the instructions for the song were head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay? Now, after that, and eyes and ears, mouth and nose. And we started from the beginning. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. My eyes and mouth, ears and nose. Okay, very good. So, at the count of three. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very good. Now what happens if we put it a little bit faster? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, remember you have to practice it because tomorrow we are going to do it again with the song. So, let's begin with the review of the day. So, as you can see here, behind the teacher, on the whiteboard, we have four new objects. Now, each one of those new objects has a number attached to them. Okay, aquí en los objetos que tenemos aparece un número que se encuentra al lado de ellos. But, but first of all, primero, let's see what objects are they. Primero vamos a ver qué objetos tenemos. Then, let's concentrate on the number. So, objects. Here, the first object that appears right here, it's an object that is up there in the sky. It's a big circle and it hits us up, nos mantiene tibios, nos mantiene cálidos, okay? Do you know or do you remember what object is this? This is called the sun, very good, this is the sun. Now, next to the sun, we have one of the most common fruits, okay? Now, this fruit is like a semicircle, that means it's completely large, okay, in form of curve, in forma de curva, it's colored yellow and it's very delicious. Do you know what is this? An apple? No, that is not an apple. Remember, apples are colored red. A beer? No, beers are colored green. Banana, this is a banana, okay? Bananas are very delicious, especially if you add cream to them. Especialmente si les ponemos crema. It's very delicious. Now, next to, we have an animal that is very, very small. Now, I'm going to tell you more characteristics about this animal. This animal, it's, it's born from the egg. Remember, the egg uh, opens and this baby animal appears. Do you know what is this? This animal is called chicken, okay? And the chicken is part of the family of the birds. Es parte de la familia de los pájaros. Now, next to the bird, we have a funny, a very funny, muy gracioso, 
a very funny character from the movie Despicable Me. Okay, now this character wears an overall, okay, with a peto, a color blue, and wears glasses like the teacher, okay, and is like an oval. And one of the favorite foods of this character are bananas, okay, and actually he makes noises like bananas, bananas, he is crazy about bananas, do you know what is this? Bugs Bunny? No, this is not, not Bugs Bunny. Mario Bros? No, Mario Bros is a different character, again, he wears an overall, but it has a red hat and the overall is completely red, so this is not Mario Bros. A minion, that's the name of the minion. And, we, and it's curious because I put the banana, so the minion that is right here is looking at the banana, okay? And rubbing his tummy because he's hungry. Como ya vio la banana, le dio mucha hambre. So, all of these uh, objects that appear right here, they have something more in common. All of them are color. What is the color of these animals? Color yellow, exactly. Now, if you remember, my children, one of the first colors that we saw on the teddy book was color yellow. After the color brown, we saw color yellow. So, the sun, the chicken, the banana, and the minion, all of them are color yellow. Very good. Now, Next to, the, next to each one of them, al lado de cada uno de estos personajes, de, esto, de este vocabulario, we have a number. Now, this number, remember, is the one that is saluting like a soldier. What number is this? Number one. So, for this, we are going to say the number and the object, okay? Vamos a decir una oración en donde vamos a decir el nombre, el número y el nombre del objeto, ¿ok? Remember, for this, the teacher says it first, yo lo digo primero, and then you, my children, you are going to repeat it. Let's begin. One sun, ¿ok? In Spanish, un sol. One more time, with all of your energy. One sun. Excellent. One banana. One chicken. And finally, one minion. Very good. Excellent. Very good. The teacher is very happy because you pay attention. So, it's very important that from now on, es muy importante que a partir de ahorita empecemos a trabajar de esa forma. Means, we have to say the name of the number, tenemos que decir el número, ok, and then follow by the object, ok, seguido del objeto, el número y el objeto. Once again, una vez más, one sun, one chicken, one banana, and one minion, okay? That's the correct way, that's the correct form that we have to start working from now on. A partir de la vida, de esa forma vamos a empezar a trabajar. Very good. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. As always, don't forget the teacher Jacob loves you very much. Take care. Goodbye.